Hello and welcome back to Dominions 4. Can't exactly what uh, remember what we were doing. So I'm taking a look at the reports just to uh, kind of get an idea of where we left off. But from the looks of it, it was a big battle with a ton of undead inside this province. So let's check that out. Because, uh, because one of the things that we do have is that we actually have a uh, undead blessing spell that I'm going to see if uh, any of our people cast here. I'm not going to finish this battle off simply because uh, I really need to change something with the sound effects here. Uh, is there actually the audio yeah, preferences? Uh, for some reason, like, um, I don't know whether or not it's something I did or something the game did, but the sound effects, like the in-game battle sounds, uh, sound really high even though that sound effects category is really low. Uh, anywho, the main thing that I kind of wanted to take a look at is the uh, the fact that yes we did lose an, a lot of undead troops here and because we do have those undead little gem things I think I'll just get everybody to reanimate stuff for us. Uh, but the odd thing inside this category is that uh, we do have a few faction specific spells that I, uh, I thought would be cast at the beginning that I thought would be cast at the beginning of the battle, however they did not get cast, so we do, uh, we wanted to check that out. Um, if we go to add the, uh, the little battle order setup here, and then we use cast a spell, you'll see down here that we have quite a lot of different options to cast what are essentially uh, unholy commands, and these essentially focus on the undead. Uh, one of the things that I just remembered was that we do have the un unholy uh, blessing spell, and I think um, yeah, there's just this one's just a yeah a smaller version of the of the other one. And essentially, these are just uh, the blessing spells used usually on sacred troops, but now they can actually affect uh, people with the lifeless or rather undead trait, right? So um, I kind of wanted to see if that would actually affect them, but from the looks of it, it doesn't actually do all that much. Uh, I want to see what can the high priest here do again. He can lead, um, he can lead no sort of uh, kind of troops, which is nice. And um, from the looks of it, we were we were trying to advance. I I think I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, let's just go with that. Let's just uh, set up our armies once again, and let's get uh, back onto the road, I guess. So that should be set up like that, and then we'll have a, have a little side detachment just like that, I suppose. And I'll get those troops down there, and it looks like, alright, oh the sea people were attacking us. An enemy, is, uh, an enemy army is besieging us with uh, about 100 units here. And most of that is just simply, uh, what do you call it? Not necessarily very good units, but uh, some of those scrappy, like, Amblantian amphibious people. So we are going to assemble a force here primarily with the gladiators. And what I plan on doing is essentially just ramming these gladiators into the and land in column and hopefully uh, see if they break or not. So we're going to do that, break siege. And over here, our uh, yeah, our demigod came back, but he suffered quite a lot of uh, damages. Um, so we're going to have to get him healed up sometime uh, later on. And how we do that is that uh, you can essentially find a spell that will help you out there. There's a uh, there's a cast of people inside the game that can cast magical spells that will essentially heal uh, your your people's afflictions. Um, there's in, there's a, actually a section of units that can also do that, but that unit setup is very small compared to what is essentially the, uh, the amount of spells you have for it, I believe. So we will have to uh, kind of check that out in a little bit. Anyhow, right now we should just be continuing our push here. Uh, did I remember to... no, we, we did have to Thrones of Ascension inside our possession. Okay. Okay, well, in that case, we have one army here sieging this fortress, another army here, and another army here. I think I'll get my, um, these guys over here to just continue making a drive down inside this general area. And it looks like we've seen, uh, we found another great, uh, faction, whatever those green people are. 
Let's see if anything interesting happens in the meantime. Um, thought I'd rather large battle this turn. Actually, there's a lot of battle uh, resolution right now. Oh wow. Okay, let's see. Unexpected events. Found some fire gems. Uh, let's see what happened here. Battle in Shalomath. Don't know where that is, but apparently the uh, Atlanteans are even busier. And from here, did we fight? Are these the gladiator people? No, they're not. Um, who did we fight? People of Olam decided to bring up another column. And it looks like we actually lost against them, but that's alright. Ah, that was that battle. And we, uh, we apparently found a magical item, which is good, I, I suppose. Kind of random, but alright. Let's see what has happened here. The, Ol the people of Olam decide to bring up some minor force. Uh, more people from Atlantis invading us, apparently. But did that, uh, did we break that siege, is what I'm wondering? Yeah, this battle right here. Our forces were beaten by, back by the defending forces of uh, Atlantis, but that's alright because the Legionist Legatus lived, and I believe we had about a garrison of 200 some gladiators. Either way, the gladiators are expended after one battle, so that's fine with me. Um, so just checking out these gladiators again, they have pretty much average stats, higher protection, a little better than regular troops, uh, but that isn't saying very much, although they do have this net here where at least uh, half of the gladiators do, and this is like a little bit of a stun weapon, which is rather nice. I think we already covered most of the uh, Atlantean troops, they either have high armor or they don't have any armor at all. And they have decent advanced weapons. Yeah, their front lines are, uh... Hmm. Pause it here, and I want to check out what exactly the morale values are for our troops. I mean, from the looks of it, uh, our guys aren't breaking anytime soon, and those nets are actually really rather effective. Where our troops are actually just really effective in general. Um, but coming up to these um, second line troops, the people with the pink armor and stuff like that, I have a feeling they're going to have a little bit of a harder time now that they've used up their nets. <laughs> Well, and, uh, well, they fought a good fight, right? So that's what's important. They, uh... I think they were actually able to whittle that army down from, yeah, 245 people down by uh, 80 units, which is actually pretty well good. Um, so with that said, I mean, I'd still call that a success. We really have to do something about these uh, underwater factions, and like, oh wow, they have a ton of, Yeah, I think they own the entirety of the seas on this map, so that might be a problem. Uh, we should be able to stop them if we actually double up on unit recruitment, and I, for some reason, haven't been recruiting units here, so I think I'll go and make some troops here, and we're already building here, so I guess I'll add one more standard bearer. I uh, really have to speed up building troops now, I suppose. Oh, this place is on the siege, which, uh, which is alright. Back inside our capital, we should also be building some more troops. I think I'll get some more of these uh, Shadow the style people. And then just go with standard legionnaires. Seeing as how the, uh, the people with the black shields are starting to become really, really rather uh, expensive over time. So I think we'll just do that and just kind of leave it as such. 
so yeah, this force has to come over here. The legionnaire or oh crap, we don't have a le uh, we don't have a captain inside that place anymore. That might be problematic, but uh, I think we can do for now. Still control this throne? No, we don't control it anymore. Well, we're going to go back to the capital, get some more troops, and how are our siege is going over here? Did we manage to? Uh, yeah, we were able to storm this castle. So let's do that. Let's grab everybody and let's storm the castle. Storm the castle. Storm the castle, folks. So they should hopefully be able to break in there. We're still reanimating corpses, and it looks like the AI is bringing a lot more troops onto the field than uh, what they were. So let's see what is here. Oh, they were they had to fall back. Okay, that's fair. Um, they have about 10 troops here. There's actually quite a large army with those uh, black plate infantry people with the long spears. So uh, as soon as they are done storming that castle, I have a feeling we're going to have to pull back or something. So I think I'll get the lar army of uh, Bane Lords to just kind of come up here, slaughter the militia, and get these guys to kind of do some, something uh, similar. And um, let's take a look at our gem situation. So we got uh, death gems under control, and we have nature gems under control. Fire gems, I presume our fire mages are just going to gradually use them up now that we have uh, equipped them. Um, but I do we have anybody who can actually use these earth gems for something? Because if nobody can use them for something, I think I'll just, uh... You know, I actually don't know what I would do with them, because we don't really have anybody who can use them. We can, uh, we can convert them into other gems, but, uh... Well, what, what would I do with the other types of gems, then? That's uh, my question. I think we'll just leave it at that. I mean, there's really not that much I can do this turn, apart from uh, maintaining our little fortresses here and really continuing um, down into this region. And I think we're just going to have to whittle down the uh, Atlanteans. I mean, we're just going to have to push them back, maybe send out a... Oh! Maybe we can summon a few fi uh, water creatures underwater and just kind of harass their forces like that. Uh, just kind of keep them busy like that, maybe. Something like that, let's see. Um, two random events, both cold events. Thought, oh, another one of these big battles with the uh, undead legions, so that is good. What do they have for us today? Oh, that's right, this time we have um, some of the undead horsemen. And from the looks of it, they are pretty average units. I mean, they're fast. But the main thing is that they are pierce resistant, making them a little better against uh, these troops right here, the light militiamen. I think next time I'll just buy some regular uh, long dead troops. And I still need to figure out what exactly that... Uh, that's that unholy. Oh, it's an unholy power spell. Uh, yeah, just uh, that twilight or no, that uh, on the power of the sepulcher uh, spell. I think just gives us an attack benefit. Those um, these priests inside the back are casting banishment, which is essentially uh, a spell available for any type of sacred uh, priest unit, really. And all it does is that it can devastate undead units really easily, and that's kind of what what is uh, happening right now. <laughs> some of those priests.
Yikes, those are those are pretty tough. <laughs> those priests from somewhere around here, those guys are uh, really doing ma the, the main damage onto our troops, and we've got to find them, we've got to kill them. Uh, we actually have an assassin here, so uh, what we can do is that we can actually assassinate some enemy commanders. Um, the problem with that is that we kind of have to know, uh, we kind of have to uh, first and foremost figure out where exactly all of those priests are coming from uh, before we can actually do that. Uh, there seems to be an officer inside this province, so I think I'll just demonstrate the whole assassination thing here. Um, to like, I I've actually never seen this happen, but what I think um, happens is that essentially the commanders fight it out, so it's going to be like a one-on-one -on -one or a, uh, a one-on-five is I think the maximum, where like a five-on-five -five is the, uh, the maximum it can be. And it's pretty much just a little brawl like that, so uh, that will be interesting to see in a, like, uh, in a little bit. What happened to our Deminga? Alright, oh, no, the Legion is, uh, Legatus was leading this force. Okay, well fair enough. Um, yeah, and I guess we'll try to break out. And I really need somebody to handle some of these things. What are these? Claymen. Um, and clockwork soldiers. So I think I'll get our demigod to grab the force. And I think I'll give him some, um, some of these guys in the, uh, yeah, 71 of them. Actually, no, I don't think I'll use the Gladiator Reserves just yet. I think I'll keep a small amount of them here, though, just like a, in a sparse line. And what I think I I'll do is that I'll get the, um, the people with the spears to fight them off, and all I really want these Gladiators to do is that I want the variants uh, with the nets. Are these it? No, these are still those guys. I want the guys with the net. Oh, God. I want people with goddamn nets. There we go. And uh, I think I'll just get them to cast their net things around the claymen because uh, I think that'll help us out by a little bit in fighting those guys. So we'll send them up there. And I think I'll actually get the Shadow of the Style people to uh, also join into the fight under the sensor. So they'll kind of brawl it out over there. Uh, how is the fortress situation looking? I mean, are we good on here? So, ah, uh, great. Are you kidding me? Three people inside that fortress uh, survived? Yeah, that, that is rather crappy. Uh, actually, that should have appeared somewhere around here, so let's see uh, if we can find that battle. Is that it? Um, our forces defeated the attack. No, that was the battle we already watched. Probably find the name of the place. Abby. There we go. This one. What happened here? Uh, looks like we lost a lot of legionnaires, and it looks like we were able to do quite a lot of damage, but something happened. So let's see. Yeah, this would be an average fight, right? Okay, got rid of some of those knights really early on. It shrinks over time. That uh, that thing that came up here.
Okay, so that was a that was a really odd fight. Um, did that really take out all of our troops, though? Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, that uh, that has to go like that, I suppose. Um, what I think I'll do is that yeah, these people are just going to continue reanimating troops. And then these guys are just going to kind of, um, they have to crawl back up to the, uh, by the coast here and get back up there, right? So this should be one big fight, and then, uh, we should be able to get another, um, army set up here now. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll recruit a, uh, a sensor. No, I can't. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to have to get, uh, one of our priests to lead the undead. So we're going to give him um, as many of these guys as they as he can carry with him, and unfortunately, it looks like that is the, uh, the total amount that he can. Oh, that's why he's a regular priest. The one that we have down here is a uh, is a high priest. Okay, well, uh, I think I'll just leave leave the undead there to protect it, I, I guess, and then I'll just stack these guys up, and then I think I'll get them out as well, actually. Don't, I don't remember why we left these troops here, but I guess we'll go and pick them up. Or not, let's just go down into the fight. Oh, really should have captured that fortress. That would have been actually really helpful. Um, so I think that'll be that turn. And there's really nothing else we can do. Let's see, uh, we tried to assassinate a... Oh, we actually managed to get a uh, priest assassinated, so that's good. So yeah, what essentially happens is that it becomes a 1v1 fight between the, uh, the assassin and whoever is... Oh, and yeah, whoever you target, really. <laughs> so I guess the priest just like cast one spell and ran away. Uh, okay. But yeah, that's, that's kind of that. And I guess... Uh, oh, what do we have here? An initiate of the deep. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that initiate's gonna die, and it looks like we got uh, our fortress back from the Vandians. So let's uh, let's check out this battle here at Prena. What other interesting battles happened? Did any interesting ba battles happen? Uh, did these guys? Yeah, these guys can storm the castle now. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, there's a bigger army here. So let's do the assassinate uh, again. And the Atlanteans have shown up, so I think I'll pull back there and I'll get these people to come up here. Um, don't really know we should start recruiting from local uh, reserves, but I, I guess we will. Uh, so what we're going to do is that because we're starting to run short on manpower, what I think I'll do is that I will start essentially getting like the bare minimum of troops starting to uh, be recruited from from uh, from the local provinces around here and like generally I don't do this but I suppose in this uh, particular case we will um, so what we're essentially going to do is that we're going to recruit generally what I would consider low quality troops but because we need to levy uh, large amounts of troops for uh, for our faction I guess we have um, I guess we have to kind of do this. Like right now, uh, my concerns is that we are kind of sandwiched between the Atlanteans and the uh, the threat of these guys, the uh, the people coming from the south. So yeah, that's going to hopefully keep them at bay. Um, how's our research going? We're still uh, one level away from these spells. So as soon as we get here, we get flame eruption, so that'll be kind of helpful. Yeah, this one this one does a lot of damage for our uh, flame mages. And then we have uh, astral fires, which I believe some of us can cast, some of our people can cast, at least on the battlefield, if we equip them with some, uh, some magical uh, gems. And it looks like that's a, that's a decent spell. Mind Hunt, I think it's uh, it's essentially an attack spell, and it just finds enemy commanders, and it essentially renders them uh, feeble-minded, so that's rather helpful. Last of On Life, I think I already talked about this, so essentially these are uh, conversion spells that'll be able to convert the, uh, the enemy troops into undead people. 
Uh, Wailing Winds appears to be a fa uh, a battlefield-wide um, demoralization thing, and this thing is a don't know what this is actually. Everyone close to the initial eruption will be. Oh, I think it's just a. Um, it's kind of like a poisoning attack. Pillar of fire. What is this? Oh, this is actually a really strong fire uh, AOE attack. Small area though. Okay, so these guys should be storming the castle. I think I'll get this army to pull back to the forests over here then. Um, and then I think I'll yeah this. This guy will collect whatever troops that he can find and he'll bring them back here. Okay, well what has happened? We, uh, we managed to get some, some money. Okay, that's good. And we were actually able to assassinate yet another commander, so that's even better. Um, does this guy actually put up a fight this time? Oh, he does. Okay, well that's good. Uh, we did suffer some damage though. And let's see. Uh, pray to more Atlantean raids onto us. What else has happened? Uh, some other provinces probably conquered by the Atlanteans. And did we... Oh yeah, there we, there we uh, yeah we managed to capture the fortress, so that's good. I think I'll end it here. Uh, I think I'll end the video here. Next time, I guess we're going to uh, go. Yeah, we will have to uh, kind of collect our troops and do some stuff like that. So I think what I'll do is that I'll try to make sure that we control this middle peninsula, uh, this middle corridor region, um, just kind of on my own time because right now uh, there's a lot of these like minor battles going on and things that um, things that we don't really have to pay all too much attention to so yeah I'll see you guys later on uh, by that time I hope that we would have uh, been able to just kind of pacify this region and I think we are slowly but uh, surely breaking up what is left of um, Ulam so yeah I'll get back to you guys in a little bit um, be sure to like and subscribe in the meantime